Yes guys, the video course is done, completed, totally finished. So that means we're going back to business and I'm going to tell you everything about WooCommerce, Shopify, dropshipping and other e-commerce tools that are useful for you to uh, drop your own store. Now, there's a new kit on the block. You've probably heard of it and I'm hearing it a lot these days. And that's SureCard. And SureCard is the competitor of WooCommerce. Now, what's the difference between those two and which one is better to choose if you want to start your own e-commerce store or your own dropshipping store? I will tell you all about it in this video because we're going to compare the two of them. Now, first things first, I think the most important part, WooCommerce vs SureCard which is more expensive? And that's a question we can easily answer because WooCommerce is free to download. You can literally download it from wordpress.org for free by clicking on the download button. When you go to extend, go to plugins and search for WooCommerce, you can install the plugin for free over here. You can click on it, download it for free, or if you're doing this within your WordPress website, then of course you can install it with just one click. Now with regards to SureCard, they do have a free plugin, but you can't really use it without having a premium subscription. So when we go to the website of SureCard and we go to pricing, we can see that they have a free subscription, but it's limited and you will pay a transaction fee of 1.9%, which I'm not a big fan of paying commission over your revenue. Then if you want to have a pro plan, you need to pay $99 a year. And I think this is even the price for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, because this is what it says above. So if you're not purchasing or watching this video during Black Friday, which is probably the case, um, then you will need to pay $199 per year for SureCard. So WooCommerce vs SureCard pricing, WooCommerce is free, SureCard is at least $199 a year. Now let's talk about the developers. First of all, WooCommerce has been acquired by the company called Automatic. And Automatic is also the company behind the WordPress CMS. So basically the WordPress CMS and WooCommerce have the exact same team, developers and support. So that's of course really convenient because based on that they can improve their e-commerce system way better knowing what's already going to happen on the wordpress cms side with surecard it's totally independent from wordpress cms so it's a separate developer team it's a separate owner so they probably need to dig a little bit further to get on top of the the new adjustments in the wordpress cms so my gut feeling says is that they're always a bit behind with regards to development but maybe i'm wrong maybe they're just reading the wordpress block every single second of the day who knows so woocommerce via surecard developer wise i would say woocommerce is better because they have the exact same team as wordpress and wordpress is the base of both of them so WooCommerce, ding ding! With my next point, it's becoming interesting because here I think SureCard did a very, very, very great job in making the e-commerce experience better for both the visitor as the merchant, which in this case is you, the webshop owner. Let me walk you through the backend and the product options of SureCard. When we go to product over here, in the SureCard CMS, we can add a new product we should have a product name. And then once we have a product name, you can already see that the design is way different compared to WooCommerce. It's a bit similar to Shopify, which I must admit, Shopify has a really nice design in the backend. It's very user-friendly. And I think this product page is also very user-friendly. Now, the thing that I like the most in SureCard is the amount of pricing options they offer. So when we scroll down to pricing, we can add a price. And here we can choose the payment type. Now the payment type can be a one-time price, which is just a regular offer. 
It can be an installment, which means if you buy something for 300 euros, but you don't have it on you yet, you can pay 100 euros a month, for example, for three months, and then you have it all paid. And of course they have subscription. And in subscription, you can also say if you want to have a setup fee, if you want to have a trial period, etc. These pricing options are not included in WooCommerce. If you want to have a subscription or installments, for example, you will need an additional plugin. And that additional plugin most of the time is WooCommerce subscriptions, or you have other options, of course, to choose from. But my first option and best choice is still WooCommerce subscriptions. So SureCard already wins here, if you ask me, because they have these options as default within the product options. So you don't need any additional plugins. However, if you're not planning to sell installments or subscriptions, it might be an overkill because you still have those functionalities within the code. So it might be an issue that, that they're there, that they're actually existing. But is that, is that really an issue? So I think with pain in my heart, I must say SureCard wins the product options because you don't need any additional plugins to set up additional pricing options. Now, we've talked about products, we have talked about user friendliness, we've talked about pricing. Now, what's the most important if you want to sell something online? Of course, payment providers. Because if you don't have a payment provider connected, nobody can actually buy something from you. Now, if we go to SureCard and we go to settings, and we go to payment processors, you can see that they have Stripe, PayPal, Mali, and Paystack in beta as payment providers supported. Those are the only four payment providers that are currently supported by SureCard. It's not possible for you and me to add an additional payment provider on top of this. Of course, we can develop something, but it's not supported by SureCard itself. So the payment options and the payment provider options are very limited. With WooCommerce, that's a whole different ballgame because with WooCommerce, there are a lot of plugins already available for various payment providers. For example, Molly and Stripe are supported, but we also have Buckaroo and Genico Payments, Agen, PayPal, Braintree, what else do we have? Go Cardless, like all those payment providers are supported with WooCommerce. And that's because a lot of those payment providers already invested in either developing a plugin themselves because they want to support merchants that run their store on WooCommerce or other third party developers like Woosa, for example, developed a plugin for them. So with regards to payment providers, I must give the point to WooCommerce, mainly because the wide range of the number of payment providers supported and the ability to connect every single payment provider you basically want. Since we now have talked about the payment providers, the next step is the checkout. And here's where I already can spill the juice that SureCard has done an awesome job in the entire checkout experience. When we go back to SureCard, the settings, we have the checkout itself over here and we can adjust the checkout if we want. So here you can see the regular checkout and we can click on each element to, to change the name, to change the requirement, to, to change literally everything in the checkout, to change the button. Here we can say like, buy now. Uh, we can add the total due button. We can remove or change the secure notice. There's a lot we can do over here. Now this is the regular checkout, but what I like the most from SureCard is that you can also create different checkout forms based on different products or services. Now, when we go to SureCard over here and we go to customer forms, custom forms, um, and we click add new checkout form, then I can select a predefined template over here, donation, for example, a two column checkout, simple, whatever I want. And once I select that one, I can add a product for which this checkout is applicable. Now, either I can give my client the option to choose from a range of products, or I can make it mandatory that they need to purchase all the products that I have selected over here. 
And then the nice part about that is once I have created that checkout, I can copy the short code and just paste it in a page. So I can literally create a checkout of every single page or put it below a landing page to make sure that my conversion is as high as possible. And aside from the fact that this, that this is really flexible, um, which WooCommerce doesn't support, you have just one checkout. Um, also, the design is really straightforward, simple, and I like it. So kudos for SureCard, because this is awesome. Now, I think I forgot to mention something about this particular option, because also over here, when you click on it, you can change it. But when we go to the entire card, we can also add a widget. And when we browse all widgets, we can see what we can add to the checkout form. So we can also decide what kind of field we want to add to the checkout form. It's insane. Like every single detail is adjustable. <laughs> Mind blowing, right? Now, last but not least about the checkout, SureCard already has something really nice implemented as a default in their plugin. And that's upsells and order bumps. Now, an order bump is something within the checkout to increase the average order value. For example, you sell shoes and you also want to buy them the, the spray care of the leather stuff. You know what I mean. And if you add that as an order bump in the checkout, of course, people will click on it, will purchase it, and the average order value will go higher and your revenue is bigger and you have more profit, and <gasps> which is good. Now, this is implemented within SureCard and the same goes for upsells. An upsell is an upsell after the purchase on the thank you page where you can say like, hey, thank you for purchasing with us. Now we have something very cheap to offer for you. You can claim it right now. Click on this button and you will be very happy. And I will too, because again, I have more revenue and more profit. Perfect. It's a win-win. Now, these functionalities are not by default in WooCommerce, but... They are available through an additional plugin, which is most of the time I advise FunnelKit. Um, so in my case, it will also always be FunnelKit. FunnelKit, you can create literally everything, custom checkout designs, order bumps, upsells, whatever you want, entire funnels. It's an insane, valuable plugin. So yeah. It works exactly the same as SureCard. However, you need an additional plugin on top of WooCommerce to actually get access to this functionality. And there you will have, of course, a premium price, uh, which is $69 a year, which is also, I think, the Cyber Monday Black Friday deal. So yeah, it depends on when you're looking at this video, uh, what the cost will be. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> this is a nice test case, by the way. So SureCard has it as a default. The checkout experience is awesome. I really like SureCard and how they thought of every single element within the checkout. WooCommerce doesn't offer it as a default. The checkout experience is rather boring. They're still improving it. So they're done a great job in the past weeks with that, but still it can be improved a bit more. Um, so for me, SureCard is the winner in this one. Now, last but not least, because I have a lot, of course, to compare, but I don't want to waste your time too much. I want to jump right into the conclusion. But first, I want to talk about one important part. So again, included within SureCard is affiliates. And this is a very interesting element from your website, because I think a lot of you guys are underestimating affiliates. I'm also explaining how affiliates work, what it is, and how it can have impact on your business and your revenue in our No Bullshit Club community with the organic revenue machine, which I, of course, have developed and which is my own strategy to make sales without having to spend money on advertisement. So go check out the link below. You can jump into this community free or paid, and then you can get access to the organic revenue machine and the course where I tell you all about it. The affiliate functionality is included again by default within SureCard. You can set up the commissions you want people to earn. Think of creators, influencers, maybe even friends and family who refer your business to other people um, and want to earn a dime of it. So affiliates is a very nice addition to SureCard. 
If you want to support affiliates with WooCommerce, you will also see this in the course. Then of course, that's also possible. You will have multiple third-party platforms or plugins to use for that, paid or free, whatever you like. And I will also give you a list of those, of course, in the course. Um, but for now, I really like that it's included in SureCard itself. Now, the conclusion. I'm still a big fan of WooCommerce, even though SureCard has absolutely surprised me because I'm using SureCard myself within my own website also. But for me, there's a fine line between when to use either of them. For me, WooCommerce is still the best to choose from if you are looking for an e-commerce or dropshipping solution, because WooCommerce is fully created for that e-commerce experience with a cart, with a checkout and how the checkout looks and what you can add to it. If you want to sell a digital product or a service, SureCard might be a better solution compared to WooCommerce. And that's mainly because you have the ability to change the checkout, to create checkout forms yourself and to paste them into landing pages, like for example, this one I show you right now. So WooCommerce, e-commerce, SureCard services and digital products. For now, maybe within a year or so, I will do this video again and I will compare the both of them again and we'll see what happens. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys constantly following me, liking my videos, commenting below. So please do this again also. And if you have any questions about my community, the No Bullshit Club, where I explain everything about how to start your own e-commerce store or dropshipping business, mainly from technical perspective, and with the organic revenue machine, then of course, join the community for free or a paid subscription. And I see you in the other side. For now, hope to see you again in my next video.